I'm Cass. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, since March, I've had these two lovely tall bookcases, but I never properly organized them until recently. And so I really wanted to just give a tour of these beautiful, beautiful things because I love them and I love books. So. All right, I'm just gonna hop right into the video by saying I filmed this over three months ago and I'm just now getting around to editing it. So, you know, a lot can happen in three months, including my book buying addiction spiraling out of control and my bookshelves looking a little bit different because of that. But I took all of my after clips at the end of the video today, so it's accurate to what my bookshelves look like now. But anyway, I didn't take any video clips of my before, but I do have this one lovely photo of it before I organized it, and yeah. Let's not talk about how ugly that is and how it was way overdue for a makeover. Also, yeah, that's my 5'3 butt struggling to reach the top shelf because I literally cannot reach the top of my shelf unless I'm leaned flat into my bookcase on my tippy toes and even then it's a stretch. <sighs> Short people problems. Okay, quick side story about this stuffed dolphin I just threw on the ground. My sister and I randomly started hiding this dolphin in each other's room, like, years ago. And every so often we would just find it and rehide it. And yeah, she apparently found it and threw it behind my books at the very top shelf, which was a pretty solid hiding place, since I'm so dang short and I never take books off the top shelf. Um, but you know, I had this whole reorganization thing going on, so um, yeah, I found it. Sorry, Shannon, better luck next time. Deciding on how to organize my bookcase was a whole task within itself, and I actually started planning a few shelves out before I did this massive reorganization. I adore the shelves that people do sorted by color, but I also really didn't want to split up all my precious book series, so I created a sort of theme for each shelf based on the spine colors and design, but not necessarily the genre. Although oftentimes certain genres do have similar color schemes, so it kind of worked out that some shelves were sorted by genre. My favorite shelves are easily the ones I'm setting up right now, my two Ranger's Apprentice shelves. If you're new to my channel and you don't know, Ranger's Apprentice is my all-time favorite book series, and it consists of the main series of Ranger's Apprentice, a companion series called Brother Band, a prequel duology called The Early Years, and a spin-off series called The Royal Ranger, which is a lot, and why it takes up two entire shelves on its own, and I love it. Every time I look at it, it genuinely makes my heart so freaking happy. Um, but yeah, that is my Ranger's Apprentice segment over and done with. I will refrain from gushing about the series anymore. So above the Brother Band shelf on the left hand side, I have a sort of Princess Crown type vibe. It includes the Selection series by Kira Cass and the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. And this is also the perfect example of what I mean by having books be similar in style on their book covers but not the genre, because also in between those two series I stuck The Ember and the Ashes series by Saba Tahir, which has nothing to do with princesses or crowns, but the spines were mostly white so it fit the vibe. And again with the shelf next to that one I have the Miss Peregrine series next to the Infernal Devices series because the covers and spines all are the same color palette. And I also have a crown stacked on top of the Blood and Ash series, which fits because the main character's pet name is Princess, and this crown was the first thing I actually bought specifically for my bookcases. Um, all the other decor I have on my shelves, I either had bought for something else or had already owned. Um, other than the candles that I bought, those I knew would eventually end up on my bookcase. One of my favorite shelves that I created on the spot and wasn't pre-planned was my quote-unquote magic shelf. It's the shelf with the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue forward facing, and it has the A Court of Thorns and Roses series, along with the Last Magician series. Um, the decor I added really brought this entire shelf together, and I'll show some closer clips of each thing at the end. But my mom gave me this little cauldron, which used to be a part of one of her like horse race trophies. Um, and it was so perfect for the shelf because there is literally a magical cauldron in A Court of Thorns and Roses. Um, it's not shown in the video, I just realized, um, but it, I promise you it ends up on the shelf and you'll see it at the end. <laughs>
the shelf I just finished actually turned into a Mary Lou slash Marissa Meyer shelf, which was funny because those are the two authors I met in person last year before the panorama. Um, there's also the Twilight series I stuck on that shelf. I plan on reading it someday since I have not. Um, mostly just to say that I've read them. <laughs> Watching back this time lapse, I forgot how much of a process this was and how much I struggled <laughs> seeing myself um, set up that Shadow Hunter shelf is a bit painful because it changes quite a lot um, for the better, luckily, since I was able to get my hands on the entire Mortal Instrument series with the original covers in hardback, which was so very exciting. I went to like two half price books one day and I ended up buying like the entire series. It, it was it was a lovely day, I tell you what. Not for my bank account, my bank account did not appreciate that. But anyway, um, out of all my shelves that I actually hate the most and will change whenever I get a new bookcase is my Harry Potter slash Throne of Glass shelf. I know it's ugly, you don't have to tell me, but I struggled so so much with trying to find a spot for these books, it's not even funny, especially Harry Potter. Like I have so much Harry Potter stuff and I just could not create this shelf to look good. I just couldn't. But I kind of settled with how it looks now, but just know I plan to change it as soon as possible. Ugh, my top left shelf makes me so happy because I had the entire Lost Hero series by Rick Riordan in hardback and I adore this book series so much. I will even admit that I think it is superior to the main Percy Jackson series. I know, I know, a little bit controversial there. But I finally convinced my sister to pick up the Percy Jackson series because for some reason she had such an uncultured childhood. Um, and she just finished it and made it to the Lost Hero series and I'm so excited to see her reactions. And another reason why this shelf makes me so happy is because I also have the entire Lunar Chronicle set with the new covers which makes this my third edition of the entire series since I also have the original series in both paperback and hardcover. Oops. After I created all of my main shelves, I still had a crap ton more books to figure out what the heck to do with. So remember how I said I loved the rainbow shelves? Well, I compromised by doing my top right shelf in a rainbow hardcover miscellaneous books, and then my bottom three shelves also ended up being a rainbow miscellaneous shove these books on my shelf because I'm so tired of trying to make every shelf look perfect type of vibe, you know? This ended up looking way better than I could have imagined and it makes me so happy that my ugly and old books that are still special to me don't have to be shoved in a box or thrown out. Like my original Harry Potter set is so beaten up that one of the books is literally binder clipped together and the spine is disattached from the pages, but I love that series so much and it was so well loved and I didn't want to get rid of my original childhood copies. Even if I open them one more time, they might just fall apart completely. Plus, every bookcase needs a miscellaneous bookshelf. I just happen to need four miscellaneous bookshelves. Whoops. <laughs> also, getting these in rainbow order was such a process and I ended up lining up all my books along the floor before I could look at their spines. Then I created like a rough outline of the rainbow and slowly added more and more of the color before I realized that I needed to expand to more than one shelf. My bottom right shelf looks a lot different compared to this clip right here. Um, basically, it became a constant reminder of how much I need a new bookcase. Now for the final look and the speed round close up of all of my decor.
gonna do it for my bookshelf reorganization video. I had a ton of fun setting up these shelves and I would love to know your thoughts on them. Also, if you liked the video, be sure to give it a like and also consider subscribing if you wanna see more bookish or journaling content from me. But that's gonna be it for now and I hope to see you in the next one. Toodles!